KVU's Jay Garcia joins us live from Daryl K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium this afternoon with more on this. Hello, Jake. Good evening, Brian. Yeah, one of the things that makes Del Conte unique is he fields individual game day complaints from fans, responds to them, and tries to find them a solution. In fact, one scroll down his Twitter from a few weeks ago, and it's clear that there were three main issues that impacted the game day experience. The first, security problems. There was a shortage of workers. The second, concession stand closures. And the third, long wait times to get into the stadium. Some fans reported that uh, at a few gates, points of entry rather, uh, there was only one worker around to scan barcodes. Fans said there were long lines to get food and water because not every vending spot was staffed. A few said they were told by security they couldn't bring in their one sealed plastic water bottle, even though that's allowed inside the stadium. And most vocal of all were the folks complaining about UT students sneaking into the Texas Club, which is a members only special access place. Now, in a newsletter to the UT community, Del Conte chalked most of this up to a labor shortage. He said over 500 part time workers no showed on them, which left them scrambling. Brian, of course, it's important to remember that this was the first game in over a year for UT in which they were at full capacity. Their first game with the South End Zone project completely finished and brutally hot temperatures for that 3:30 start time. Del Conte said, "Do not expect these problems again for game number two of the season or the rest of the season, for that matter." In fact. We just heard moments ago from UT spokespeople saying that they're working to address this staff shortage. They'll be bringing in people from Dallas for tomorrow's game, and they'll also be increasing their wages for these workers.